Hey there, and welcome back. My name is Gardner Bryant. I run a YouTube channel where I talk about open source news and I talk about, uh, you know, privacy issues that affect us all. Suffice it to say, I've made a career out of video editing on Linux, and I wanted to share some of the awesome stuff that I've learned over the years with you. This is a video series that I'm doing in partnership with Purism. If you haven't seen the first episode, there'll be a link below. In today's video, we're going to talk about Caden Live, why it's my favorite video editor and you know, it's pros and cons. Now keep in mind that while this video in particular is actually going to be specifically about Caden Live, uh, most of the rest of the stuff I'm gonna talk about in this series is going to be applicable to pretty much every other video editor that you would want to use. So without further ado, let's talk about why Caden Live is my primary video editor. Let's start with the pros, because it's always nice to be positive, right? First of all, Caden Live is free and open source. And because of its open nature, my company and I are not locked down into proprietary ecosystems that hinder our interoperability. That means that my team and I are able to send project files back and forth uh, without having to worry about exorbitant uh, licensing fees or anything like that. And that also means that my team and I are able to use the latest versions of the software and always be up to date. Number two, cross-platform. Caden Live is part of the KDE application suite, and as such, it's available not just for Linux, but also for macOS and for Windows. This is super handy as uh, nobody on my editing team uses the same operating system. <laughs> uh, so that also means, like I said before, that you know sharing project files is a cinch because you know the Windows version and the Linux version are compatible. Number three, codecs and container compatibility. In my opinion, video editors are only as useful as their codec and container compatibility. Some editors have artificial limitations on the codecs or the containers that you're allowed to use. Maybe it's a licensing issue, who knows? But Caden Live, you don't have to worry about that. There's other editing software that will uh, give you a hard time if you're trying to edit uh, different video files in different codecs or in different encoding qualities. I've run into that as well. By contrast, Caden Live has some of the best compatibility that I've seen. Uh, it's, it even outstrips stuff like Adobe Premiere or DaVinci Resolve. Basically what that means is that if you have hardware or software that produces like an MKV file or maybe a transport file that has MPEG-2 encoding, um, which is a thing that I've encountered before, if you're editing on, you know, Premiere or something like that, you're going to have a bad time. You'll have to use something like Handbrake to remux or re-encode the video files in order to get them to uh, be importable into your Premiere or your DaVinci Resolve uh, project. I don't know about you, but uh, adding unnecessary tools to my workflow is something that I uh, would rather avoid. Uh, that's why Caden Live is such a great choice. Export formats. Exporting your project is a critical step in the video production workflow. Exporting is how you take the video edits that you've made in your timeline, mix it all down into a single file, and make it ready for distribution. And it's no surprise that Caden Live has some of the best file export presets in the game, and it gives you excellent control over exporting. You can render with proxy clips, you can control how many encoding passes to apply, you could rescale the resulting video without having to change project settings, and so much more. Caden Live is also customizable. Not only can you change the uh, key bindings in Caden Live to your heart's content, but you can also rearrange the GUI to suit your needs. We also have titles. Now, this is not something that you uh, can necessarily expect from every video editor. Um, a title editor like what the one in Caden Live um, is pretty great and useful in a pinch when you just need to put some text on the screen. And finally, project recovery. Now, video editing is a notoriously buggy process. Um, with Caden Live, it's no exception. While Caden Live stability has significantly improved over the years, there are times where you will run into issues and Caden Live will just crash on you. In many other video editors and in years gone by with Caden Live, it would be where the software would crash and you would lose whatever work you had done until the, you know back to your previous save. But Today, Caden Live's uh, recovery tool is so robust that when it does crash, uh, if it does hang, you never lose any work. This might be my favorite feature of Caden Live because I can't tell you how many times I've tried other video editors where they have crashed on me and I've lost a ton of work. And even like proprietary software like Premiere will crash on you and its recovery tool is just hot garbage compared to Caden uh, Live. So those are the pros. Let's talk about the cons. Um, stability, for example. I know I just talked about the recovery tool, um, but stability is a problem. It often seems like Caden Live likes to crash when you're importing new video files into your project. 
whenever I need to import a file, uh, I always make a point of saving before I drag and drop a, a file into my project bin. Even still, you know, Caden Live will crash. And sometimes you can even feel it coming on. Uh, like it just starts to hang a little bit and you're like, oh, here it goes. It's going to crash on me. And it does. And that's really frustrating, especially when you're in the zone and you're just like flowing through the, through your edit. And then it just crashes and, and kind of ruins your, your, your rhythm. Um, so that is kind of an annoyance. Uh, number two in the cons column, uh, we have performance. Caden Live is not as performant as other video editors, at least not out of the box. Where software like Olive supports native GPU acceleration uh, for like rendering and applying effects and stuff like that, um, Caden Live doesn't do that out of the box. Now keep in mind that if you're just editing 1080p footage and you have a good computer, you're not going to have any issue. But beyond 1080p, you're going to have to take a few steps to uh, mitigate the performance problems uh, that is, that are come with like 2 and 4K video editing. We'll talk about that in a later video in this series. And finally, for cons, uh, Caden Live really has a lackluster roster of effects and compositing tools. Caden Live's uh, effects and its compositing, you know, is serviceable. You can get the kind of work that you want to get done done with Caden Live. Um, but most of the other open source tools that we listed in the last video have better effects and compositing tools. They really do. Take something like Olive, for example. Olive Video Editor uses a node-based compositing tool chain in order to do compositing effects and to customize how renders actually look. Whereas something like Caden Live uses a more uh, layer-based approach. And Caden Live's effects are pretty slow to be applied in real time. Most of them only have bare bones linear interpolation between frames and you can't customize it at all. And most bizarrely of all, Caden Live groups uh, various values like scale, position, and rotation to a single transform effect when most others don't. They have them separately so they can be adjusted independently of each other. Now, so in conclusion, I mean, Caden Live really is my favorite video editor when you take it as a whole. Right now, it is one of the most stable video editors that I've used. And when it does crash, it has great project recovery, so you don't have to worry about losing work. It also has some of the best uh, codec and container support, and it's cross-platform. You can't go wrong. With all that being said, though, uh, that's everything I wanted to cover in this video. Next episode, we're talking about actually optimizing Caden Live and your workflow. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you later.